bandage. Hey guys, what's up? It's my face story here and today I wanted to do a product review slash talk a little bit about this new product called Beauty Dust by Moon Juice. This stuff right here, I've seen it all over the internet and it's been gaining a lot of hype because it's supposed to just be good for your skin, for your hair, overall health, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, I want to see if it lives up to the hype. Also, 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 I saw that they just started carrying it at Sephora, which is kind of cool that they are, you know, experiencing a little bit more of like the natural healing route type thing. What is beauty dust? Do you know? Because I don't know. Apparently, it's an aptogenic blend of transformative super herbs that help combat the effects of stress to expand your beauty, luster, and glow from within. What the heck does that mean? So I haven't tried it at all yet. Um, I was waiting for this. I did take off the seal. So as you can see, it smells really strong, really earthy. Um, yeah, there was this little pack in there. Probably don't want to eat that. But yeah, so I already took off the seal, but I thought I would wait to try it for the first time on camera just to see <laughs> what it tastes like and what the effects are. Before we get into that, let's talk about everything that's in it and then maybe a little bit of which each thing does. I'm gonna use my phone because <laughs> I don't know all these things off the top of my head. I know some of them, but not all of them. If you do know all of them, then lucky you, you go girl. It has in it goji berry powder, which is supposed to give you a feeling of wellness, calmness, and help with weight loss. It has organic, I'm gonna like butcher all these names, Shushundara berry powder, which is supposed to decrease disease and stress, normalize blood sugar and blood pressure, and it is typically only used for medicine. It's an aptogen, and what an aptogen is, is basically it helps your body adapt to stressful situations. So it takes the stress off you and your body. It also has in it Ramania root extract, which is commonly used for diabetes, anemia, fever, allergies, can reduce pain and inflammation, and lower blood sugar levels. So that one I'm kind of confused why it's in there, but I guess it makes sense pain and inflammation, so maybe if you have acne, like me, uh, it'll help to reduce that. Who knows? And blood sugar level. I feel like that's another big thing because um, I know for me at least with acne, I have to eat kind of like lower GI foods, foods that don't really spike my blood sugar as much, so I feel like that could help as well. It has organic ashwagandha root in it. Um, ashwagandha root is an adaptogen. I've definitely heard of that one before and I know it's supposed to be good for your skin and for your hair. Um, I know a lot of people who have PCOS do take <laughs> ashwagandha. It's supposed to help the body adapt to Daily stressors decrease pain and swelling, prevents effects of aging, and it's used most commonly for healing wounds and anxiety, which is pretty cool. I feel like that would definitely also help with your skin because I don't know about you, but if I'm stressed or anxious, I'm gonna break out. So if it helps with anxiety, it's gonna help with my skin. It also has in it organic alma berry extract, and alma berry helps the liver to detoxify, strengthens the liver, and is good for digestion. Uh, which is all supposed to lead to better skin. Pearl extract says it keeps skin radiant and lustful, but I don't really know about all that. Last ingredient, stevia leaf extract. So stevia leaf, not only for taste, I think, I think it uh, helps to lower blood sugar and blood pressure, which could also be helpful. I don't know, maybe in this case it is just for taste because it did smell a little, a little weird, a little earthy. Um, I'm kind of all for the idea that it's all natural though and that you're healing from within. I think that's super cool. And I think the packaging is really cute. Like it has this little doodle on it, beauty dust. And this is the new blend. So I don't know if you guys have tried the old blend or not, but this is the new blend. So I think it's supposed to be like more potent and have a better taste. The one thing I will say about this is, I don't know if this measures on camera. This is really small. Like that's really tiny. I think it was $38 and then maybe 10 for shipping, so $48. I was like, okay, maybe there is, you know, like, maybe if these less, maybe there's more servings in it. There's only 14, so only two weeks for $48. 
I don't know about you, maybe it's just because I'm a college student, but I think that is like super expensive. Um, I know all these like aptogenic herbs are supposed to work wonderful and be amazing. We're gonna find out. Um, but I just feel like that's a lot of money. <laughs> Let's find out, should we? So uh, the smell, it smells kind of like Like horse dirt, but sweet. Is that a thing? Sweet horse dirt? That's what it smells like, cause uh... And here's what it looks like. Oh, it has a clump in it. I wonder why that is. Oh, it has a bunch of clumps in it. Maybe I should like grind this up or something. Um, so it's kind of like this pinkish color and you can see all the different herbs in it. So you guys can see uh, hopefully what it looks like. It says you're supposed to use one teaspoon. So I have like a little bit on the water bottle here and I'm going to use, I have this handmade spoon I made <laughs> and I'm going to use this spoon and just like a little bit less. I couldn't find any teaspoons uh, weirdly enough so this is going to have to do. There. So we're going to find out if these effects are real or not. And if there's, oh, maybe if you do this, you should use a funnel, because it's kind of messy. Okay, so you can see it's kind of like this golden yellow color. Shake it up. Um, it also says on the bottle you can add this to anything, so you can add to water, milk, tea, juice, smoothies. And it looks like it's still like a little bit clumpy. I am really interested to see if this is going to make me feel any different. A lot of the things in it are adaptogens, so if it helps my body adapt to stress, that would be cool. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about this. It kind of smells... I don't think I like that. I don't think I like it. Okay. We're going to do it. It's weird. Hold on. It's definitely really sweet. It tastes like an herbal tea. Like I would say if you like herbal tea, you'd probably like this. It's a little sweet for me, but... It kind of tastes a little bit like a berry flavor too in there. It could be all those goji berries. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I got some sludge at the end of that. It was not mixed up well. I guess the rest I will film either throughout the day or throughout the week, and we're gonna see how it affects me, you know? If I start breaking out more, if my skin starts clearing up, if I feel like I'm less stressed, I'm gonna take it every day, one teaspoon like it says, and we are going to track the effects. As of right now, um, I don't really have any spots. I kind of have this under the skin. Maybe like two under the skin right here. So that's all I have. So let's see if this actually works. Like it says it does. Okay, so it's been like 30 minutes-ish since I took the dust juice. And I'm kind of feeling a little bit nauseous. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my stomach feels a little bit queasy, but maybe it's something that you have to eat with. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna eat. Other than that, I don't really notice any, like, symptoms right away. Okay, so it has been a few hours, still day one, and I can say that I feel so bootyful. I feel like I'm oozing booty out of every single pore. So much beauty. Um, but really, it does, it's like a little bit shiny. I don't know if it's like grease or if it's supposed to make me look glowy. Um, but yeah, it does, so. Hopefully that's a good thing. And I've had a lot of energy. Actually, after I ate, I felt way, way, way better. So I think from now on, I'll just have to eat with it. Um, I felt creative today. Definitely felt like more empowered. So I don't know if it's like the placebo effect or what's going on, but 
we'll let you guys know. So it's about 4 p.m. and I'm still feeling pretty dang good. I did not feel sick at all this time. Like last time when I drank it, I think you just have to eat with it. And yeah, I've been getting a lot of stuff done today. I feel super creative, super energized, um, more in tune with like my emotions and able to think more clearly. Don't know if it's a placebo effect or not, just saying, but yeah. I definitely feel beautiful on the inside, which I think is making me feel beautiful on the outside. Um, my skin has like this glow to it, as you can see. Um, it does feel a little bit greasy, actually. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, yeah, looks good to me. Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to day three. I am here serving you day three realness this morning, as you can hear the little birds chirping. Um, I feel great. And also, 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 I don't think it's a placebo effect anymore. I really, really, really do think it's the beauty dust. Um, I felt amazing every single day. I've been like creative with my hairstyles creative-ish with my hairstyles. Um, definitely just trying new things. And yeah, I put it in a smoothie today and I can't taste it at all. So I think that's definitely the way to go if you are sensitive to like tastes and smells. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. My skin, like my skin tone looks really even. Um, even my friend told me like, and my face didn't look red. I was like, yes, girl, thank you. So, I think it works. I'm kind of honestly shocked, but I really, really do. Who would have thought? So, middle of my third day check-in. Um, I mean, I still have like this a little bit under the skin. But besides that, I haven't gotten any new spots and I feel like my skin does look pretty good. Um, I've been feeling just like, I have a lot of energy, but different type of energy because I felt just kind of like relaxed. Um, usually I am like pretty hyper. I run like on stress. Um, so it's been kind of different to not feel that, you know? But yeah, I mean, I really, I think it works. Like. 99.9% .9 sure it works. There you go. Booty dust is certified to make you bootyful. It is the end of day three. It's about 6.30 right now. I just wanna give my final thoughts on the Moon Juice Beauty Dust because honestly, I thought it was just gonna be an Instagram gimmick. I thought it was really hyped up and overpriced, but just from using it three days, I can tell a difference in my overall energy and the way my skin looks and feels and I guess just the way I feel. I feel pretty darn bootyful, to be honest. And actually, part of me, I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a placebo effect or not. The only way to tell is going to be to just keep taking it, you know? Um, but, I feel like it's one of those things where if you feel beautiful and you like radiate that energy and that confidence, then others are going to notice that. So I feel like maybe a lot of it is kind of in your head, but I don't know. I think it's worked pretty well. I can say that I haven't gotten like any new spots since I started taking it. And the one that I did have kind of died down along with the other one. So I like, I remember at the beginning I had two in under the skin bumps. Now that one's gone and this one's almost gone. So, I don't know, could it be a secret skin clearing weapon? Only time will tell, dude. And oh, I found out that the taste wasn't that bad. Like as long as you mix it into something else alone, no. If you mix it into like a smoothie or something, you can't even taste it, so. Yeah, I actually would recommend this. I think that <laughs> it works, surprisingly. So, give it a try. See if it works for your skin. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and make sure to do all those things that people always say to do. Like, comment, subscribe, what have you not. Alright, thanks. Bye.